the place for comic book and anime reviews. Hey you guys, welcome to the Bubba Campbell 12 YouTube channel. Here are your comic book anime reviews. Here is my review for the final season of She-Ra Princesses of Power. So, yeah, let's get into this. Um, this was a really, really fantastic season. It was 13 episodes. Every single episode I feel like it had importance to it. There wasn't like one episode that was like care focused. Um, that was just more silly. Like everything really kept building and building and building. Um, as the art characters are basically trying to team up to defeat Horde Prime. And it is, it is amazing to watch. And it still manages to focus on character and really try to drive that home. Uh, we get to see a lot of character interaction that we uh, haven't really been teased or we haven't really got to see fully before. Like Catcher and Glimmer. Like that. The moment between those two characters was really great. Especially with Glimmer in the cell and kind of trying to see, going to see her every single day. And how being with Horde Prime, like, can continue to feel this is a sauce that we, that we all knew she was going to feel. We all knew that was going to happen. That she would want, she would need to be, want to be redeemed because of all that solitude she feels. I am going to get back to that redemption arc a little bit soon. Because there are a few things that I really want to talk about in regards to Captain Redemption arc. Um, because it is a very touchy concept um, that Noel did with the Redemption arc. And I don't know quite if it all worked, worked itself out. I definitely think there may be some issues here with Captain's Redemption arc. But to be... Um, but we do start to get that in this um, season. So, throughout the um, season, we, we really get to see Catra um, starting to become redeemed, and we're all seeing the um, Princess of Bright Moon. Um, basically, Horde Prom has the power to basically control them, and we see Princess again controlled this season. We still have a lot of things going on this season right now. Um, we get we get we a big more focus on Spinnerella and... Uh, Natasha relationship that we had in we to see a lot of before because of their they've been their, their side character. They've always been side to character. They haven't been part of the main plot. So it's kind of cool to see these two really take up the focus now uh, in this season. And I, I really enjoyed that aspect of it. And I enjoy Noel really wanting to focus on these you know side characters because a lot of times you won't, you won't really get the you don't really get these side characters getting focus. A little bit sad what happened with Kyle this season, though. We didn't really get any more of that ratio. We did get a tease of what's going on with them and kind of like taking a solution with them. We never get to see them this season, so that was kind of disappointing. Uh, I really want to see more of that a little bit more. But I did get it. We hit a lot of characters in She-Ra, and you can't, you, can't, you can't really focus on all of them at once. Um, what we did get focused on, I still think worked. But we get a lot of Scorpio as well in this season with her trying to build up her confidence in herself as throughout the season before eventually getting controlled by Horde Prime and that whole storyline being part of it as well. So a lot of this going on here that I really did enjoy to its core. And of course, the finale, the ending that we all knew was going to happen. And we're all building towards it. But the kiss between Catra and Adora, that pretty much saves the entire... That pretty much defeats Horde Prime and saves the Rebellion completely. And it, and it was great. And the way it just happened was amazing. Everything about that moment was just exceptionally well done. I just, I loved it. I absolutely adored it. It was, it was stunningly beautiful and was very well done. I just, I really enjoyed it. Now, back to Captain Redemption arc, because we really got to talk about that. Because there is a lot of fans who would argue that Catra's toxic character um, is going to be a problem for the game going forward. And it is going to be a problem. And with her joining up with the team at the very end, um, I, there is that feeling that, like, 
about redeem um, about like her being fully redeemed. Um, I think throughout the show we have got enough to show like a bit of a redemption arc from her. Um, they definitely try to redeem her early, so that way we could see her like working through all that throughout the season. I think that was kind of the idea that I knew I was going for to work all our problems. So we do see her like getting pulled back into that more toxic, more villainous side to her a lot this season. Um, but she, before she eventually does, eventually truly is able to kind of join the rest of the team. And it's really just thanks to her relationship with Adora and Adora really accepting her that she's able to. Um, actually, you want to be real, the toxic redemption we really didn't expect us to see was Shadow Weaver. That was the one, like, no, I don't think anyone really was expecting because Shadow Weaver was the one, of course, is the reason why Catcher and Adora were bunny hissing at each other because they always, she always like had them going at each other a lot. And to see her with Shadow where she ends up sacrificing herself um, to save Adora and um, Catra was a great moment. And I thought that was a different way to go. We did with not the redemption arc I thought we would have gotten, it, but it was a redemption arc that we ended up seeing happen. So, yeah, and Shadow Weaver, of course, died. And there was really no other way to go with that that character as well. Like, like there was no way we could keep Shadow Weaver around with the rest of the crew and Bright Moon. Just with all the problems that could happen would be between Catra and Adora. So I think sacrificing her or having her leave was really the only choice they had in that moment. And they, they chose a sacrifice her. And it worked. I did enjoy that choice that was made. So, yeah, there is, it is a very interesting season this season. There's a lot of big moments that happen in it. And there's a lot of big camera moments that happen in it. And I definitely really recommend you guys check it out if you guys haven't already. So, that's everyone else on she the final season, season 5. Look how long it is about on she And I will catch you guys later. Peace out.